All right, so if you have a uh, jam in the document feeder to where it is getting past that initial spot here and it's jamming down in here, you're seeing it jamming down here. Um, and then, so what, that, what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna check two things, depending on the type of document feeder that you have. So this one is a dual scan document feeder where it'll hold 300 sheets of paper at the top and it scans both sides at once. So this one's just a little bit bigger and has a little bit different process than the conventional uh, reversing, auto, reversing automatic document feeder uh, that's just a little bit smaller. So with this one, first thing you wanna do, big mistake people make, if you open this bottom part here, you open it here in order to clear a jam, don't close it here. If you close it back where you opened it, it leaves this part down here open down at the bottom. Where you wanna do is you'll see this little green sticker there. You wanna close it at that sticker. Makes it nice and tight all the way down. Okay, do the text, uh, even if it is closed properly, open it, do it again. Sometimes you'll see some debris fall out. Like in this situation, we just had some debris fall out of this page, paper here. So that might've been causing the issue. So go through, make your copy again, see if it happens. If it continues to happen, then what we're gonna do is run a file folder through down here. This is something, the first thing the tech's gonna do whenever they come out in this situation. Because what we're trying to see is, okay, is there a paper clip? Is there a staple? Is there a little piece of paper? Is there something in there that's making it hit and stuff? So what we're gonna do is take the file folder. Don't stick it up here because it'll jam. It won't make the process. Stick it down here into the little groove in between the two little rollers, okay? Then I'm gonna open this down here on the bottom and roll this through. You'll see it start to come out here. What that's gonna do is like in this situation here, it pulled out two staples where somebody forgot to take staples out of the machine. So it went through, pulled two staples out, and it, uh, this is probably what's causing that jam. 95% of the time, this is what's going to be causing it. And it also, I don't know if you can zoom in here a little bit, it also pulled out all this debris, all these little pieces of paper, all these little uh, pieces of dust, all that type of stuff. So it's going to push out all that stuff. It's just a more rigid piece of paper going through there, pushing that stuff out. So then all you do, don't pull it after you get to here, don't pull it, just keep rolling it through until you get to the, all the way to the end. You wanna use a file folder, um, like construction paper, something that's a little more rigid. Then we're just gonna close this back up. Put that down. Now, before we do it, cause we do wanna make sure we got everything, go ahead and go through that cleaning the slick glass process. So we're just gonna wipe off this area, soft cloth, go ahead and then also either use an alcohol wipe or a uh, spray some Windex on a paper towel. Just wipe this area off because there's a little bit of debris in here can end up getting into stuff and it'll cause an issue. So go through that process, make your copy again. If the problem goes away, great. If it stays there, go ahead and give us a call at 410-864-0904 uh, or send an email to service at CC Office Solutions and uh, let us know that you uh, need a service call. All right, thank you. If you have any questions about the video that you just saw, give us a call, 410-864-0904. Again, 410-864-0904. Somebody will be able to help you out with that. Or you can always email service at ccofficesolutions.com. Uh, if you have any other future videos that you'd like to see, send us an email, info at ccofficesolutions.com. Or you can send the same email for if you're interested in phones, copiers, IT support, uh, camera systems, data cabling, any of the other services that we offer, give us an email and we'll be able to get back to you right away. All right, thank you.